Hello. Um, at a loose end, really. Very much at a loose end. I'm on day, God knows what. It's going to be four weeks come Tuesday. No cigarettes, no alcohol. And I'm delighted. I'm delighted that that's the case. And I've saved a lot of money. Not that you'd believe it, looking at my bank account. Good God almighty. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, spent a lot on sweeties. That's got to stop. Because it's not, it's not helping. It's not doing anything. Um, lunchtime helps out. Um, been going out a lot more than I normally do. But it really is difficult. I'm, I'm the most difficult of persons to relax at the best of times. Probably that's why I found myself for years and years drinking and smoking, sitting here drinking and smoking. And complain of not going out because I drank and smoked excessively and it, it just depressed me physically and now um, I want to do things but I don't necessarily want to I mean you know um, it would be nice to be able to sit and relax <laughs> read a book watch it watch the TV do something I don't know um, and it's, it's not coming easy to me at all, I can tell you. To set such a point that today I've... Well, I could moan on and on, but um, I bought some books. Don't think it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. Charity shop shopping, just four books. Cost me too much. Um... They charge a fortune these days, some of them. Um, and I haven't looked at them. And that's criminal. I have not picked them up and looked at them. I bought them, put them in the bag, brought them home. They've been left there in the bag. I haven't looked at them. Oh, why? What the fuck is wrong with me? Why did I do that? Why did I buy them for them just to sit in a bag? me not look at them why can't i be ordinary normal conventional easy going buy them bring them home sit down put my feet up pull the book out have a read have a glance through yeah because i haven't got the drink and the smoke to go with it i know that sounds feeble and it's not an excuse because it isn't an excuse <sighs> And here I am, yawning my head off. It's been a hard day listening to the news. Uh, I've had my say about it. Say about it. Glad I have. Glad I've got that off my chest. Um, as you can see, my eyes are bloodshot. I'm tired. But inside, my head's just ten to the dozen. And I'd like to relax. And I always used to. With a drink and a smoke but I don't drink and smoke anymore I'm eating sugar which is no good moan 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 oh god so anyway here are the books so I'm doing this not to moan not to get your attention I'm just doing it as something to do Literally just something to do. Something to do. And uh, for me to find a reason to pick the books up and look at them. Enormously. You may be having performance issues. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, oh, bloody am, aren't I? Yeah. What's your excuse? You need a drink? Fuck, you know. Sorry, my French. Anyway, here they are. Now it's going very quick. Nothing special. This was the last one I bought. This was possibly the most expensive, and I thought, really? Four quid? Four quid for this? But it is a DK. Four quid. Coffee obsession. Uh, it tells you all the different types of coffee that you can make. 
It's a recipe book sort of thing. Okay. Nice. He's got nice pictures. Nice pictures. Um, yeah. I should pick the camera up and put it on, on the air. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can do that. Let's see if I can do that. Eh? That'll be nice as well. Everything has to be an ordeal. Will it? Oh yeah. There we go. Hey, that's good. That's brilliant. Right. Let's see if I can hold this here. Oh. oh, clever. Oh. I did think of buying a rig once to, to have a camera over the desk like this. I suppose I could rig something up. Oh yeah, it'd be a nice book to sit down and read, wouldn't it? Sit there with your mug of coffee, sweet coffee, nice cigarette or cigar on the go. At last I'm looking at it. Nice looking book, isn't it? So it is, it's like an atlas, coffees of the world. Oh yeah, I'm glad I got it. And as always with a DK, it's nice and colourful. Oh, it's just different types of coffee, coffee, oh, yeah, different types of equipment. Oh, right. Oh, it is, it's the real encyclopedia of coffee. Cappuccino, cafe latte. Yeah, so there we go, four quid, Mac, Mac, macchiato, macchiato, whatever. Yeah. Nice book, not seen it before. Anyway, that's that one. I'll have to put this down. Sorry. Where's my coffee book? I used to have what I, 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 I'm not sure if I had this one or something very similar, right? Mm. This is Plymouth Argyle on this day, and this is from uh, from it was published in first published in 2008. And this is on this day from I should say Dear Day Nought, I don't know. Up until two thousand and eight. Thanks to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> W.S. Tompkins, All About Argyle, Brian Knight's Plymouth Argyle, Complete Record, 1903 to 1989, etc., etc., etc. Rick Carey, September 2008. <laughs> so I suppose it goes all the way back to when Argyle started. Right, so it's going to be Saturday. Saturday, the, well, no, it's Friday still. We'll do Friday, 26th of January. What happened to our guy on the 26th of January? 
Saturday, 26th of January 2002. That's it, because it's Friday at the moment, right? But it's the 26th. And on the 26th of January, it was a Saturday, 2002. The second part of the 2001 2 rebuild of Home Park was completed when the Lindhurst Road stand reopened for the third division game against Oxford United. Argyle celebrated in front of more than 8,000 fans with a 4-2 win in which Ian Stonebridge scored twice. There we go. So that's what happened on the 26th of January 2002. Saturday. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> there you go. You like that one, Rog? I'm sure you've got a copy of me. That's that little book. Next book. Why the hell not? I thought, why the hell not? Because it's very niche. It was only only one pound fifty, which is a bargain. I have got. I think I might have another book on the subject. But since I run on four wheels, or four wheels and more, or two wheels and more, that's it. I ought to have a, a reference text. So I've got. I've got one. Here it is. Oh, it's going to be upside down, isn't it? That's the way I need to have it, like that. What have we got here? Tractors. Tractors. What's 14 quid? I really shouldn't show you like this, because this will do copyright. Printed in China. Mm. Home Publishing, House Publishing, published in 2009 by Ermine Street Books. 2009. Oh, well. Introduction, all about tractors. And if it wasn't for tractors, we wouldn't have tanks. And I've got a feeling I've just trapped a rat. Quite possibly. We'll have to go and have a look. That's going to piss me off. Make me a smoke, please. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. Mm. So this is the area. Practice. All in alphabetical. Oh, we've already got there. Alice, Chambers, Chalmers. There you go. Austin, Bounce, Case, Belarus, Case, Case, Cat, Caterpillar. Gosh. Oh, Ford. Quite thorough, isn't it? More thorough than I thought. Oh, gosh. Ford Sun. You know where I'm going now, don't you? H I J K L. J C B. John Deere, JKL, that comes before M, um, comes before Lance, don't disappoint me, there we go, Lamborghini, Lamborghini tractors, they're all modern ones, ah, Lamborghini tractors, so there we go. Right, I'm going to stop there, share this, because I need to go and inspect a rat trap, because I swear that's what I heard just go off then. So cheers, see you in a minute. Ooh, ooh, can't coordinate. Yep. Yeah,